mix in with a school of fish, they steal one, they grab it, bring it up to the surface, toss it in the air, open wide, and swallow it whole. Vulture Island on the left hand side. It's named that because a family of 40 vultures has been coming back here to this same island year after year for about the last eon, generation after generation. And we don't mind them, we love them. They're not pests. They actually do us a great service here in the south. They wake up every morning at 9 a.m. Then they go out scavenging. They're looking for dead bodies, cadavers, rotting flesh, roadkill, and my favorite, iguanas that got into a fight with a lawnmower. I compare the Everglades to the human body. You got several systems in the human body that are all working separately, but in the end are working together to make you function, same as the Everglades. Several systems working separately to all work together to make the unit function as a whole. Everglades has a job to do. Uh, for starters, the system on the left, the island, that is a system. It is a bird sanctuary for about 300 birds at night. The spatter dock, the low-lying vegetation down there that looks like lily pads, but it's not, it's spatter dock. That's a system that feeds about 180 species of birds. If you snap off that leaf, from the stem, at the top of the stem, lives a worm, and early bird gets the worm. That's another true statement. So now that we're underway, everybody, all of you are now officially explorers. So your eyes need to shift from left to right. You need to look under the surface of the water. You need to look on the riverbanks, behind the grass, in the tree foliage, up on the treetops.
that vegetation growing right over there on the left hand side it's kind of brown and green uh, that will grow up to be what is called cane bamboo which was introduced to north america by the seminole indians 200 years ago again as the material used for the very first north american fishing pole in which case we still use for today ladies and gentlemen she she demands respect and she totally gets it from me but I'm gonna pass around and you're gonna see her eyes the way she looks at you that's what she reminds you of Jack Nicholson honey I'm home right? she's got the Jack Nicholson look but like every story in the park has uh, her story is quite different about 13 14 years ago there was a raid in Miami police raid where went into the house they got drugs, paraphernalia. They arrested a whole bunch of people. But then when they went into the kitchen, they saw this young lady tied to a table. Now, we don't know if she has a partial wing, first of all. We don't know if it happened before, during, or after. But she was taken to a rehab place in Miami, a great place that I really respect them, um, a Pelican Harbor. And she was deemed not to be released because she could not take full flight. So she can't take full flight, she won't survive. So she was brought here to the most diva park in there is. And uh, she is she is quite, quite incredible, a great ambassador for us. There are over 50 species of hawks. But up, up, sugar cane, his head is on a little bit of a tilt. And the reason for that is this guy, about eight years ago, was found as just a little outlet fallen from his nest in a sugarcane field. It's where he got his name from. But 
lucky enough for him, it was a biologist who happened upon him. She noticed oh. souvenirs, guys. But this biologist noticed he had a pretty significant wound to the left side of his neck here. It was open, most likely from another bird or sibling rivalry. So she brought him to us. Once this guy came in, he had to have two of his neck bones fused together. Two of his vertebrae are fused. And then also, the skin had to be overlapped in order to completely sew that back together. So now, he's a little bit tilted. But he's doing fine here with us. That's what makes him unreleasable, though. These guys, as owls, should have 14 neck bones. Us as humans, we get a whole seven of them. Whether you're a blue whale, a giraffe, or us as mammals, we get seven. But with 14, that allows them, up, up, to turn their head the 270 degrees around to see everything that they need to. Unlike us who have eyeballs, these guys have cone-shaped eyes. So they are the only animal with 100% binocular vision. They do not have the ability to move their eyeball around. Since he can't move his neck, up, up, is it gonna rain? Yep. <sighs> they hate it. That's Best, best weather, weather master. Channel 4, channel 7, channel 10 has nothing on these owls. No. They know it's going to rain. So with that, he's unable to turn his head the way he should be able to. But fun fact about Sugar Cane, when he falls asleep, his head turns upside down. And it's really cute, but not great in the wild. Please meet Mac. And Mac is our American Anakea. So I'm going to walk around and you're going to have to see and why Mac is here. Mac is missing his left lower jaw. Okay, Fish and Wildlife brought Mac to us when he was uh, a baby, 